In a sex ed class in Who Gives a Shit, Oklahoma, when a man and a woman have sex, miss, what about when two girls have sex? We're not going to cover that today. Are we going to cover it tomorrow? No, says the teacher who can't even say the word penis. Are we going to cover it the next day? No, says the teacher who looks like she hasn't had sex in years. Are we ever going to cover it? No. So I guess I will cover myself. Hide from who I am because I'm like a secondhand friend to me. I need someone to introduce me to myself. I keep pushing me back because we are not yet acquainted. Because no one has taught me. But if I taught the class, raise your hand if you know the difference between asexual and aromantic. Raise your hand if you know that some people use the pronoun Z and Z. Raise your hand if you know that only 12 U.S. states are required to say anything about sexual orientation or gender identity in health classes. Raise your hand to ask a question about why you're not experiencing any of these explosive sexual urges and be so elegantly overlooked to the straight kid who's asking why he gets boners in class. Well, insert generic straight boy name here, that's perfectly normal, says the pasty dinosaur behind the desk. Perfectly normal. What's not perfectly normal about my masculine haircut and my attraction to girls? What's not perfectly normal about the way I distinguish myself? What's not perfectly normal about not checking either of the gender boxes on your stupid survey about how much I've learned in this class? I'll leave them blank like you've left me. Nameless. They spend three days going over the effects of hard drugs, but not one minute on sexuality. Everyone knows that heroin is bad for you, but I can count the people in this room that know what the word polysexual means on one hand. Why is my identity so scandalous to you? You'll show kids tattered vaginas, but not girls with dicks as if the world is flat. Am I more infectious than an STD? Sit down if you've never been confused about liking boys or girls. Sit down if you've never felt like your gender has gone unrepresented. Sit down if when the room is separated into boys and girls and you're left standing in the middle, it's right back to 1939, different water fountain, no bathroom for you. Trust me, you're no worse than us. You just don't get to feel as comfortable. Look at who's left standing. Stand with them. You tell us, people are just afraid of what they don't understand. Teach them. Spoken word doesn't have as strong of a format as some other poetry. It's more like you get more out of it when it's performed to you than when it's sitting on a paper. Heteronormativity is something that I understand deeply in my life because it affects me personally. I guess it changed from in the beginning it was just kind of like here's like the wrong things so I learned stuff about like not just how it is here how sex ed is taught here but like throughout the country or whatever. I think people probably like it because it's like like straightforward kind of like it just kind of calls out the bullshit and is it's not really stuff that people talk about that much because like if you're not taught it and if you don't go and like look for the like that kind of information yourself you don't know it so like the people that do know about it are like yeah everybody needs to know this and then people that don't are like oh this is new i should have been taught this earlier